hope that this is all working well. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me. This is a shot of tequila. I am your host, Tequila Cowser. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm so silly. But listen, I want to go against, contrary to what everybody said about trauma, that, you know, it's the worst thing that can happen to you. Um, people hate going through it because it's painful. It is those things, but also what trauma is, is it is a gift. Okay, a lot of people don't understand it, how much it is a gift. Um, and I'll explain to you that, my reasoning why soon, okay? So make sure though that you are signed up for the Shot Caller Experience. It is a four week coaching program that I will be doing. It's group coaching and we will be talking about purpose, we'll be talking about calling, we'll be talking about goal setting with the twist. Um, we'll also be talking about, you know, vision um, and how all of this plays into your first quarter of 2020 and how it's important that you have those things in perspective and with much clarity um, before you start really setting your goals. But um, I will put the link at the bottom in the comments here after I finish this video, but I know all of you or a lot of us have been through some level of traumatic experience okay a lot of us experience most traumas when we are children okay when we are children we're very impressionable we're very curious we're very vulnerable um we're weak we are pretty much a open faucet for people to hurt us you know, because we can't protect ourselves unless our parents or an adult who's responsible is there to is there to protect us, right? So what happens is that I've explained this before, we grow up and we have these adult triggers that are childhood traumas. You know, something in us as an adult triggers us, you know, in our older stage that reverts back to when we were a child. Now, I'm a big Grey's Anatomy fan and I don't have cable, but I have um, I have Netflix. And I looked at a recent episode, which I finished the last season, but I gotta wait for the next one where Owen had, re he got counseling because he was having issues loving someone opening his heart to a person and feeling um having that trust having that a sense of accomplishment and saying you know what I I I'm, I'm good i'm great as a person what happened is his um father this is you would think i would talk about i talk about these shows like it's reality but this could happen as somebody's reality in someone else's reality but as a child he was 10 years old he had won a spelling bee contest got an award was very excited very first award went home and, and and his mom was sad and he's she's like look your your dad died so at that moment he could not feel a sense of accomplishment because why his dad had died he lost part of his world at the same time he got this big accomplishment so he had problems with actually you know the trust love thing as his as an adult he got that healed and you know he went back and he talked to people apologized all of that good stuff but that brings me back to how much trauma is actually a gift um excuse me my dog just walked in <laughs> um but trauma is actually a gift for us rather than a despair for us or rather than something a burden a pain um ex painful experience we've all like i said had our level of trauma i'm gonna bring it back you know to my personal trauma for many years was being bullied like i was bullied from the time i was in elementary middle school um some parts of high school high school it wasn't more of like the fighting because i was going fighting being hurt all of that through my years in high school was more like the mean girls um the pretty girls you know on the ugly girls you know i was categorized as i guess one of the ugly girls and it was just like Ugh, you know and i would get picked on all the time it was like ninth almost 10th grade 
um, and by the 10th grade, it kind of subsided, you know, and then in college, you know, one girl thought that she was about to, about to do some things, but we end up duking it out. I won and it was the end of that, you know, but you know, those things can absolutely transpire into your adult, you know, and as an adult, I found myself a very quiet person, vulnerable, you know, gullible and, uh, and allow people to pretty much, you know, um, kind of run over me. I was, I'm, I'm, I was always the yes lady, you know, and truly like I wasn't healed of this up until I stopped, you know, stopped being on social media recently where I had to own who I, who I truly was inside. And I was this empowered and strong woman. Um, and it just had to take place, you know, I had to discover that for myself, you know, God had it in me. Um, and I've always, I've had to discover and we have to uncover that ourselves. And it's important that we know who we are in futuristic is always inside of us because God in the Bible, you know, said that the end and the beginning is within, you know, and we have to remember that our future is always within us. And it's always important that we tap into that and and not bleed that traumatic experience onto other people but the gift of allowing yourself to be exposed that trauma to be exposed is your healing you are able to move through the healing process which can be painful um, and it's important that you get quiet at that time so that you can allow your soul and and the most high god soul to interlock and, and you start understanding that your worth is your voice. Your voice is your GPS to actually creating the life that you want and the things that you want in life, okay? You know, another thing, I mean, because there's so much stuff that could cause trauma, you know, um, sexual abuse, domestic violence, you know, even down to a parent saying to you as a person, you know, Girl, when you get married, you know, this is me speaking for women. Girl, when you get married, you better marry for security. You better marry a man with some money, you know. So a lot of women are out here looking for men with money because they're trying to secure the bag in that way. When they're not looking for the right things, they're looking for the money instead of the love, you know, the kindness, the empathy, um, the complete you know, package of honesty to, they're not marrying that, you know, they're not looking for that. And then what happens when you get in a marriage just to secure the bag, you find a lot of people unemotionally attached. And then that's why the divorce rate is like 60%, you know, and it's, it's not just because that, you know, it's a lot of stuff to go into that, you know, um, failure to be affectionate, to speak others love language, the failure to be financially stable and, and all of those things. But the ending result is us acknowledging that we had that traumatic experience, saying that we do, going to get the right therapy, um, healing for that, and, and walking through it and saying, you know what, this is actually a gift because now I can teach my child the right way or I can teach other people the right way to do things when it comes to a traumatic experience. You're able now when your child or someone you know is going through a traumatic experience, you know how to help them. I mean, we not, we're we not therapists, some of us aren't, but we have enough experience to help them through that experience. You understand what I'm saying? So look at trauma as a gift instead of a curse or a painful thing and then stop blaming other people, You <clears throat> excuse me, other people for what you went through and identify that what you went through is something you had to go through in order to help other people heal because our world is full of stuff. Like there's full of trauma going on. I mean, this I go through my timeline and I'm seeing all of the little kids that are getting snatched up and you know, all of the kids that are being um, abducted and the trafficking, human trafficking. And, and it's just so heart wrenching. It's so disheartening to see that happen to so many children, you know, and so many people. So it's important that we stop 
stop, you know, um, blaming ourselves for the traumatic experience that happened to us. Acknowledge that it happened, you know, um, and there's this, you know, like I put on social media, there is a, your inner child has been protecting you for all of these years. You have to thank that inner child for protecting you and saying, thank you for protecting me, but I got it from here. I, I have to heal from here. I have to leave you behind in order for me to become a better person, a better individual. So I hope that has helped someone, you know, kind of see the deeper part of it. But if you have any um, comments, I would love for you to comment. Did you receive value out of this? What did you get? You know, what did you learn? And I may be able to learn from you because some of the experiences that people have been through, I mean, I have not been through a lot of their experiences. You know, me and my husband have had really different um, tr different experiences when it comes to trauma. Um, but we are at the point where we understand the person's trauma um, and we're working through that. And, you know, and that's important to work through, especially when you're married or um, abided to another person. So what did you learn? You know, did you get anything out of it? Make sure you share. Make sure that you are absolutely... Um, signed up, you know, for the shot caller experience, we will go through things such as this, um, and how it is absolutely imperative for you to get through it in order for you to see the end of your goal and to actually reach your goal. So yeah, that's my two cents. You have gotten a shot of tequila. <laughs> Hi, babe. I see you peeking. <laughs> um, you've gotten a shot of tequila. And, you know, always remember that you are one, one shot away at living a completely different life. You just have to shoot your shot. It's all up to you. All right, everybody. I love y'all. Peace.